Hello and welcome to a Muse for You video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change the preloader GIF in your Adobe Muse website. Uh, and as an example, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to open up uh, Adobe Muse and I'm going to click on File, New Site. I'm going to click OK going to go to the home page and I'm going to create a full screen slideshow. So I'm going to go to object, insert widget, let's try that again, object, insert widget, slideshow, full screen. I'm just going to paste that in there and yeah, basically I'm going to take the counter and the previous and the next parts off and I'm just going to delete these by hitting the delete button, clicking, hitting delete, click, hit delete. Then I'm going to go to my blue arrow right up here and I'm going to go to add images and click on the folder icon. And I already have a few images ready to go so I'm just going to select them and I'm going to click open. Okay. There's quite a lot of images in the slideshow um, and the reason I'm doing that is, is so that we can see the preloader and also my images are fairly large in size uh, so we'll, we'll be able to see the the preloader for a few seconds. Um, so let's see. So I'm going to hit Command Shift E to preview in my browser. And yeah, so it doesn't load on my local host because when you preview, uh, when you preview the Adobe Muse site locally, um, it doesn't. It, it's already loaded um, because it's not going through like a live server or anything. So I'm actually going to put this um, this website on a on my live server so that we can see the the preloader working. So I'm going to go to File, Upload, <coughs> excuse me, Upload to FTP Host, and I'm going to use my FTP server. Um, okay. Sec. I'm going to store credentials, and I'm going to say SFTP and click next. Okay, public HTML and I'm going to say um, pre preloader site. Okay, and yep. All right. So I'm just putting this in a subfolder on my um, on my live server um, so that we can see this website on you know as if it was online. Um, so I'll click OK. Uh, yes, we want to create it. It just said it doesn't. The folder doesn't exist. And if you want to create it, and I clicked OK, um, and we'll just say ignore. <laughs> uh, don't mind that. It was just because um, we haven't really given this website a domain. Um, it just says the the domain that I I have as an FTP doesn't match this website domain uh, because it's a test. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just concerned about getting getting to show you the the preloading effect so that we can go in and change it. Okay, so the website finished uploading to the live server. So I'm going to go to my browser and I shall use a uh, Chrome here. So I'll go to my domain name and then I'll type in preloader-site Okay, so wow, that loaded fast as well. Um, I don't know if you saw that for a second, but let me try hitting, uh, just hitting shift and refresh. All right, so you see that little preloader there, um, and I'd expect I expected it to to go a little bit slower, but uh, let me try in a different browser here. Let me just get rid of that. Okay, so here you can see it's uh, it's preloading. Yeah, and it, it that took a a, a, a bit more time. Um, let me try again. Yeah. So go here and pick that there. So it's pre preloader site. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is clear history and website data uh, in the last hour, clear history. 
You can see I have some interesting pictures in there. Uh, Preloader site. Okay. So you saw it for maybe a second or so. Um, and, you know, it's just a it's just a slideshow with images in it uh, but basically I think that'll be enough to show to show you to be able to show you how to change that preloader gif um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, codrops.com this is where I'm gonna get my preloaders and I'm going to go to search and type in pre preloader or preloaders and you can do yeah search preloaders yeah Okay, so it's this first one here, freebie flat styled square preloaders, and then I'm just going to click on that, um, and it gives you some examples of it, uh, and then you can download the set for free, so I'm going to click on download the flat preloaders uh, zip file, so I click on that, and then it goes, goes to my downloads folder, you can see that there's a lot of interesting preloaders, uh, preloaders here, excuse me, and I'm going to open flat preloaders, or just go to my downloads folder, actually yeah go to my downloads um, download then I'm just gonna drag this into the folder for this video that I'm making okay and it's just loading there okay and these preloaders were created by pixel Buddha yeah, Code Drops is a really great website for you know effects and cool website things. Um, I do teach videos on that as well um, on a different channel called VelveteenWebDesign.com. If you're interested, um, I do Code Drop tutorials, how to use eff Code Drops effects in uh, HTML websites. So you you need to know a little bit of code, but not not a not a you know huge amount of code. Okay, so back to the uh, preloaders. Um, if I got the folder here, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to use a 128 by 128 uh, preloader, so pretty big, but that's fine. And the one that I want to use is, let's see, let me see if I can preview them. Um, you can just see the image for a second. Uh, let's see this one, that one. And yeah, you can kind of go like that to see it. Um, I'm going to use this, this orange one here. This one looks pretty cool. And we can look here. It's going to be, um, yeah, this one right here. Or actually, uh, let me see. These are really cool. Um, I'm going to use. I'll use the box just to get just so we can really see the effect working and I believe it's four so we're gonna use preloader four and so all we do to swap out the preloader is we go to our FTP uh, website uh, or FileZilla we, we access our FTP server and I use port 22 because I like to have a secure um, a secure connection to my FTP and click OK. All right, I'm going to go to public HTML. I'm going to go to preloader site. We can see that I created uh, the folder preloader site on my server, so I'm going to double click there. And then I'm going to go to images, and right here it says blank.gif. Oh no, that's not the one we want. We want loading.gif. So basically what we do, uh, we just take this preloader and just copy it right into that folder. And, um, and so now we have preloader4.gif. So all we have to do is delete this. We'll just delete loading.gif and say yes. And then we'll rename preloader4 underscore 4.gif to loading.gif. And so our website will now look at this gif, loading.gif, as the gif for the preloader. So if we go back to our um, our test site, our preloader site, I type in preloader dash site and hit refresh. So I'm gonna have to clear the um, the history and website data. 
Okay, so um, all right, so it took me a moment, but I had to clear the uh, the cache in my Google Chrome browser. Um, so to clear the cache, um, if you don't find that the GIF is is replaced um, on your website, it could be that you just have to clear the cache. So uh, I'm gonna go to clear the cache in in uh, Chrome. You go to History, and then you just click on Clear Browsing Data and then hit clear you can do it for the past hour and click uh, make sure cached images and files is checked and then click on clear browsing data okay and so then I'm gonna go back to Chrome and I'm gonna type in the URL preloader site and we can see it lasted for like a second um, so that's basically it for changing the GIF uh, on your Adobe Muse website um, for some websites this will probably work better than others if if you have something that's taking a while to load you can have a cool um, preloading gif and I actually picked um, you know I meant to pick the box I picked uh, let me see I picked a different one uh, preloaders yeah I actually picked this one this green one that goes like that uh, but yeah, I mean it's it's easy to replace them. You just do it in your um, your FTP server, and just replace um, loading dot gif uh, with you know your custom preloader that you've selected. It could be either from Code Drops or from any website that you've, uh, or from you can create your own gifs and and just replace them to match your website. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. And uh, if you need web hosting in a domain, uh, Bluehost is a great uh, hosting provider, and you get a free domain when you sign up through Bluehost. Uh, I think right now they're they're having a bit of a sale uh, where you can get really affordable hosting. I think it's like three forty nine a month, something like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next. Video.